please do make yourself at home and if you could just take a seat at the exam table that's about a meter in front of me, okay? Good. I know I'm not your general physician, but you came here today in a bit of a rush to get checked out, correct? Yeah. I am the Dr. Lavender. You can call me Lav. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And I was just pulling up your report here. And it says you've been feeling a bit unwell. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can tell me whatever you'd like as well. If I could just quickly get your name once more. Okay. And can I get your birthday? Thank you. Okay. So I have here that says a nurse has checked in on you prior, but you've been feeling a bit unwell due to a sleep schedule that isn't so perfect, and sore muscles, as well as a headache, and from time to time, feeling quite tired during Okay, all of these symptoms are normal, and today we're going to try and solve or find out what it could be that's causing you those problems, okay? And quick question before we begin, how are you? And I mean that both mentally, physically. Remember, it's okay to just say how you feel. No need to hide, especially when we're here to take care of you, okay? Good. So, I'm gonna get my gloves on, and we're going to begin the exam, okay? Good. As well. I know it's a bit of a busy evening. I hope that everything is well, other than the health issues. Yeah. Now, how many hours of sleep do you think you would get in a normal night? Not on the weekends, but on the weekdays. Okay. And how long have you been feeling a bit fatigued? Okay. It's good to know. So, we're gonna be begin the full body exam now. And I always like to start with vitals. This includes taking a heart rate and taking your temperature. Okay? Good. So, I'm going to begin first with a little thermometer which we put under the
and it says you're running perfect, no problems with your temperature. Have you been sick within the past two weeks? Any fevers that you know of? Any allergies that you have? going to place this on your chest, okay? I just want you to breathe in. There you go. Let's begin. running a bit fast. It's normal, especially due to stress and lack of sleep. Just remember, it's okay to relax. So, I'm going to move on now. Now, I'm going to check scalp and we begin the full body exam with your entire body going head down to your toes so may I touch your scalp and your space thank you I'm just going to get a bit close and take a look okay So right now, I'm feeling for bumps or lumps on the head and looking for lice and or some sort of skin issues. going to go behind the ears. Behind the scalp. Run. 
brush through the front of the scalp. see anything that was of concern or something that would cause a big problem other than a bit of dandruff and I also noticed that for your scalp you have very healthy hair which is good it's also a good sign that you're doing well so I'm just going to and then I'm going to go right in and check your sinuses if you use the pen light you can also check the sinuses to see if there's something that is a bit drastic so first I'm just going to hold the side of your face don't want you to move your neck or your shoulders but look at me don't look at the light okay Tell me which is brighter, 
one or two. You can look at the light now. So, example, which is brighter one or two? Good. One or two? Okay. One or two? Good. One or two? That's one. you had a bit of sensitivity to the bright light as it got closer to your eye, which could actually be affecting the way you sleep if you use a phone or play games before bedtime. Sometimes if you are sensitive to light or react to light in a different way, you can stay up a bit longer than you wished to because you um, can sometimes make yourself feel a bit less tired by seeing the light. I'm gonna write that down. Okay. Now we're going to do the sinus test and I'm just going to put this on your sinuses, okay? Good. First we're gonna start with your forehead. You can look at me or my nose. And I'm just gonna place a light right there. Now, do you have any seasonal allergies? Are you allergic to any foods in particular or perhaps allergic to any types of pollen or outdoor things you know of such as grass or maybe animals? Okay. Any congestion? Okay. Right here seemed fine. Let's test the left side. Just raise a hand. Okay? Let's begin. 
It's gonna cover your eyes. Okay. And let's start now. I did identify that you had some difficulties when the glove was very far away from your ear, which is common. going to apply it to one side of the cheek. Here we go. a little bit. Now, let's begin. I'm going to start by pinching parts of your forehead. You can close your eyes or keep them open, but I just want you to let me know if you can or cannot feel it. You can just raise a hand if you feel it, and don't raise if you don't, or just say you don't. Okay? Now, neurological exams are perfect tests to see if there's something else going on that could be affecting your sleep help. Okay, let's begin. Ready? we're gonna pinch right here. Okay, could you feel that? Okay. Pinch. Okay. Pinch. Pinch. And Okay. Bend. 
and there. And there. Like to the eye. And there. Okay. And, and there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the area that it should be a bit numb. Just let me know if you can or cannot feel it, okay? Okay, and what about here? And here. And last but not least, right here. Okay. So, reaction to the numbing agent is decent. Sometimes we can have a strong sensitivity, which can also tend to make us a bit more cautious and have a bit more of an effect on us. move down to your arms. I'm going to just pinch down your arms and you let me know if you can feel it, okay? Let's go. So I'm going to begin right here. Pinch. And there. And there. And there. And there. right side. There. And there. There. And. And there. Okay. Are you having any difficulties breathing recently? Or have you felt any tightness in your chest? right here, right where the ribs are, okay? And any pain? Here? 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 And here. Nothing there. Good. On to the other side. To your right. right next to the navel. What about here? And around here. And any pain or sensitivity in your stomach recently? Upset stomach. Okay. And have you had any stomach problems in the past couple of months or the past year? reflexology of your knees and your toes. You may have had a couple of doctors in the past test this as well. I'm just going to take your knees and right around your ankle, I'm going to just hit 
certain parts that are going to cause your muscles to react by themselves. All you have to do is let me know if you feel any pain from it, okay? So first I'm going to take your left knee, if that's okay with you. Good. I'm going to hit it right between the knee bone and the joint. So, ready? Three, two, one. Good. One more time. Three, two, one. Good. Any pain? No. Okay. Now the ankle of the left foot. Right here between the ankle bone and right underneath the foot. Three, two, one. Good. And three, two, one. Good. Any pain? No. Now to switch to the um, right leg. Let's get your knee up. Three. Three, two, one. Good. We have a reaction. And one more time. Three, two, one. Good. Any pain? Nope. And right at the ankle. Same place as before. Three, two, one. Good. And three, two, one. Okay. Good. Muscle reaction was good. you had any pain in your legs, ankles, knees, any of your joints from below, even the hips? Have you been sleeping on one side a bit too much? It causes you to toss and turn. Have you had any foot problems or injured your foot in the past year or so? Okay. These can all be reasons as to why you're not sleeping well and why it could be causing you some stress on your body. Okay. And we're on to our last exam. This is a bit of a mental one. I'm going to say a couple things and I just want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. So what day is it today? Good. What year is it? Very good. And when is your birthday? Good. And if I say the phrase, Mary had a little lamb, what does that make you think of? A nursery song. Very good. Okay. And when I say, do not count your chickens before they hatch, what does this saying mean? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Two more. What does carpe diem mean? Latin word carpe diem. Okay. It means seize the day. And what does, if I describe something as the bee's knees, what does that mean? Okay. So, I'm just typing in your reports now. I'm going to have a full diagnostics um, done on this. And then you'll know by tomorrow morning, let's say about 11 in the morning to 12 in the afternoon. You'll have a full report as to what could help you to improve your sleep in regards to your health. As of right now, what I think it could be is lack of sleep and stress as well. I think you need to take some time for yourself and give yourself a day to just have a relaxing day. Okay? I'll send your reports as soon as I can. I want you to know that if your health feels any better, or if it doesn't, please let us know because your health is my top priority, okay? Good. Again, call me anytime. The number will be on the printout that I'll have now as a quick results for our exam today. And it will be given to you the moment you head right back out the exit door to the right be at the counter desk with your name on it. 
All you have to do is just show them your wrist ID badge and they'll give it to you, okay? Tomorrow morning, you will have the full report out as to what we can expect to help you fall asleep better, to stay asleep, and to keep your health number one. Okay? Thank you for visiting today. Call me anytime, Dr. Lavender. I hope you feel better soon.